For this project, we'll need your transmission fluid, 3 8 ratchet, a washer for the drain plug, a funnel, a water bottle that we're going to cut, some paper towel, maybe a hammer, ramps, and also a drain pan. It's the second time I do a drain and fill for my transmission on my 2013 Honda Civic. The first time I pulled out the plug, that's right over here. And the way the plastic guards are made, it dripped all over the guard and it was a pain to clean up. So this time I cut this bottle of water I made a notch right here. That way, as I was unscrewing the, the plug, I could just put it like this so I had room for my hands. And then when it started pouring out, it just went straight in the pan. To take out the plug, I used this ratchet. It was very tight. So I ended up tapping it here a little bit with a hammer and that was enough to break it loose. For the automatic transmission oil, I just went to my dealership and got the ATF DW1. When you do a drain and fill, I'd say probably two and a half quart comes out. And it should be around three, but I think it might be a little bit less because I'm up on ramps. Make sure you ask for the, the O-ring for your plug and clean up the magnet paper towel before putting it back in. Whenever you put on a plug like this, it's always best to hand tighten first. That way you don't go cross thread. Made sure to put the new washer. And you don't have to go overly tight. This is what my rudimentary guide looks like with the extra hole. I just added this hole here so it wouldn't get too heavy and fall out on its own. And it seemed to work quite well. The funnel I'll be using is about 17 inches long. Facing the engine, the transmission dipstick is right here. It's yellow. And that's where we'll put the funnel. I like to go progressively and check. So basically, I'd probably put the first two quarts pretty quickly. And then the third quart, I'll be checking here and there to make sure there's not too much. Because you don't want to overfill. If you forgot to put your plug in, this is where you'll notice. This time around, I only have around 200 milliliters left in the third quart. So I'm going to take a little drive with the car, and let it sit and check the level again. I'm back from my little drive. Thanks for watching.